Hi Leah, welcome to your past life reading for couples. Now this is the life after the retrograde forecast specials. Let's take a look. If you have already met your soulmate, what are your karmic debts together? Is it really the right connection or is it just a toxic connection? Let's take a look if there's still something else in the future that you can look forward to. You met your former spouse one summer day or season. And it seems like the two of you have been friends for a long period of time. But there was a love triangle that actually happened or occurred. And it's like there was a never ending battle between you and this uh, other person. And it seems like you have already promised something to somebody that you will be ending up with them while you are still entangled with someone already. You did not let the other person know that you're already married until that time comes that they found out what you've been hiding is a secret. Now, you did not really, you know, you did not, um, it, it wasn't really intentional before for you to fall in love with someone else while you're already engaged or married to someone, to somebody else. And um, the other person, you know, your spouse is almost perfect. They're very responsible. You know, they're, uh, they're into business. They're very matured, noble, sophisticated highly educated came from a good family and you also get, came from a good family you're very religious especially your mother but um, you were such a problem child <coughs> in your past life and you fear your you know you fear your parents you feel your family if they'll find out what you're uh, you know what you've been doing and it seems like you used to be the uh, the black sheep of the family, or you used to. <coughs> your mother was always worried about you. Okay, whatever you do in your life, whatever trouble that you got yourself into, and you're you're very strong-headed. Okay. Now, in between this, that you were caught up with some trouble, and it seems like you. Um, Hmm. It seems like you get entangled into something that you were, you know, you were accused of uh, a crime that you did not really commit. Okay, and this is the reason why that you are always afraid of doing something because what if someone will find out about this? What if someone will point it out like this? The other person that you have, you know, that you have made a promise that you're going to be ending up with them and that they're even willing to, you know, to wait out for you. Something have happened to them. And it seems like you ended up being there by their side. And somebody had, um, you know, somebody saw you with the blood in your hand. And it wasn't really intentional because you just saw the person, you just saw this, you know, this guy um, bleeding. And it seems like they were already dead when you're already there. But unfortunately, whoever the assailant is, they've already run away and they've already took off. Okay. So you don't know what to do and you don't know what to say until that the knights have already came and then uh, nab you. You brought a lot of tears and you brought a lot of shame in your family. And that is also the time that your husband or your spouse have found out that you were having an affair. Okay. And the person, um, the person who actually um, died, okay, is someone who's younger than you. But, you know, the twist of the story here is... This person, okay, who's older than you, 
already knows that you've been doing something right before you get caught and i feel like it was only like a twist of fate that when somebody um when this person have asked someone to kill off the other person that you're entangled to because he can see that you're so in love with the other one rather than him okay and you only married him for you know you only married this person for money or for his stature because both of you came from good families and before it's like um you know rich people to rich people and rich people to poor people it's like a it's a mm, it's a big shame okay and just because that this person wants to clean his name that he doesn't want anyone else to know that his wife is you know philandering or taking off with someone who is not even within your level he asked somebody to you know to um to ambush this person or to to kill off this person and he was killed off at that you know at the place where the two of you will be uh it at your meeting place so during that time when you went there and they were already dead and somebody has somebody saw you that's the time that this person have thought of a double revenge okay so that is the reason why that in everything that you do you're always nervous you're always scared you're always paranoid what if like this what if like that and you're also afraid of you have that big fear of dating you have that big fear of seeing someone else you have that big fear of meeting somebody that is you know that is already known to you or that you are not yet familiar with okay you're so afraid of um getting to know somebody because of whatever you know because of what happened to you in the past and that person you know that you thought who is a very good person to you because all along this person have also played that they are a good that they are the good cop or the good, they are the good guy they have tried to visit you in the uh, imprisonment and they um they also use their um you know they also use their uh, what do you call this their authority or their influence uh to bail you out or to get you out of that mess okay so they already appeared as a hero and then you you have been grounded and uh, you also got traumatized because of what happened to your family especially to your mother who had a heart attack because of what happened to you and then that is already a big lesson to learn okay and you have that both the masculinity and femininity within you whether you're a man or a woman either you're you know you're too masculine even though you're a woman or you're too feminine even though you're a, you're a man and during the time that you're um you're also a greek roman or you're from uh, you're from Re sorry from europe you traveled or you have moved into a different place and all you have held on during the time is the only your trust and faith and you have the gift of wisdom okay and you have that strong intuition but you're already afraid of exploring yourself ever since that thing happened that one humiliation for your family is already enough and you've already learned your lesson okay until the time comes that you've already had a baby together and uh, this baby of yours was born at the brink of war okay your uh, your husband before was like a tradesman or like a merchant or something like that he used to try he used to travel in every in everywhere that he goes everywhere he goes you go with him and ever since that day well, let's just say that you were already inseparable and uh, you don't want to explore any, f you know, any other feelings or any other person because you don't want to get entangled with that kind of um, trouble anymore. But every day, you know, every day and every single day of your life and every single night that you sleep, you always have a nightmare and you always dream about that guy that you almost been with and that you almost marry. You have suffered from an unrequited love, okay? 
even when you were still um, um, in the western coast or in the western part of the world. Now you have lived around eastern part of Europe, southern part of Europe, and western part of uh, America during the time. When you were in the western part of the world, you have gone through such poverty. And because of that, you rise up from nothing to something. Okay? You have learned to rebuild yourself again because in your past life, you used to be well off. And even though that you have already learned how to start from scratch and how to rise from, you know, from zero to a big person, there's still something else about love that you haven't really learned. Okay? And you're very, very tight when it comes to finances because you have learned how to save up a lot, okay? Just for you to to build yourself one by one and for you to reestablish yourself and be, you know, a big person someday. But the main lesson here is be true to yourself who you really love, you know. You need to express yourself express your passion and affection and if there is someone else who've already caught your attention or your love you need to be a little bit more honest and let go of the other person because someone might just be playing around with you playing around with your mind and playing around with your heart and little did you know that that person who plays like a hero is actually you know the person who's in charge of you of all your traumas and all and of all your troubles which is they are only silently taking a revenge on you. More likely um, a covert narcissist, okay? So if you are, um, if you're this type of Leo, okay, that you, you have a lot of, um, that you were born in a very good family, and you're enjoying a very laid back life but unfortunately you were stuck with somebody who's been acting like they're the good cop or the good guy and they always have this you know this uh, face in front of the crowd that they are the good guy or that they are such a saint okay know that there's really something wrong with them and if you feel like your heart you can't really give your heart to them or your heart belongs to somebody else it is because that your intuition or your inner self or your higher self knows the truth more than you okay and follow your heart now the person who will be coming back into your life this person who actually died you know for you um, innocently um, they will be coming to you around the month of October this year and it seems like you need to get to know each other and by the time that you will be meeting this person, he's younger than you, by the way, he or she. And this will be in the form of a new love because you did not really have a chance of exploring your love and, the, and then your love affair before because it has been thwarted, you know, earlier. And this will be coming as a form of new love, even though you will have a hard time concentrating your careers and finances because you will be distracted by love. You know, the thing here is you're also very codependent when it comes to your, um, when it comes to your relationships. And you always depend your happiness, okay, on someone else. Now, you will be moving into a different place or a different area, different country, and you're the one who will be making much more effort. You will be much more caring and thoughtful, and you will also be taking care of this person, and you're also going to be very protective. There is also a chance that, the, you know, that this uh, twin flame of yours or s other soulmate of yours will come in the form of a son or a child, that you'll be overprotective, okay? And... I feel like you will be, you know, um, this younger person will always have that feeling that you have done something to them, which is they don't even know, I mean, you don't even know what you have done to them, okay? It's like they have that bank of grudges or they have that, you know, like angst. You know that's been hanging above their heads and even though you did not do anything 
so that is you know the karmic debt that you have to pay from this person or if you will be meeting somebody and your relationship will turn out to be sour right in the middle of it like they've been like you know like uh accusing you or they've been like scorning you for something that you did not even do so know that there is some sort of a past life connection and past life uh karmic debts that's why this person will be acting that way and this person you know the uh the one who uh, acted like the good guy or the spouse who set you up it seems like this person is still around you actively around you okay so anyway that's it for you for this retrograde um leo and the uh, if you want to know uh, what's, uh, if you want to know more about your per your uh, past life, and uh, more about your uh, your karmic debts, just go and visit me at my website. It's afiangel.net. You may talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls. And thank you for liking, sharing, and watching and subscribing to my channel and my videos. All right. Thank you and blessings to you.